Hey, what's good with you? It's your girl Lenny Lynn right here and I'm back with a new video. Today I'm going to be catching y'all up on my 34 weeks of being pregnant. Today I am 34 weeks and 4 days pregnant and we're counting down almost 6 weeks until I have this baby boy. Yes, October 27th is my due date. Will he come before? We don't know. Will he come after? We don't know. It's all in God's timing. So the first thing I want y'all to know is that your girl has really been feeling so much better. Um, a lot of people have been asking me why I don't do frequent updates. It's because I'm just not one of those type of people to where I feel like I have to, you know, constantly do updates and updates and updates because in my pregnancy, if it wasn't one thing that was going on, it was another. And if it wasn't another thing, it was a whole totally different thing. So it just started to be consistent. Like, um, within the past few months, I'd have been battling a lot of things from my low iron. I had a very bad bacterial infection. And I can honestly tell y'all that all of those things started to contribute to me just feeling down in the dumps about myself. Because once you get something like um, BV during your pregnancy, you really start feeling like, dang, you know, like, don't touch me, I don't want to be bothered, I feel disgusting, all of those things. And then you, then at the time uh, when I had my bacterial infection, I was taking two antibiotics a day. So I took two antibiotics a day and the antibiotics I was taking was like what people consider horse pills. And those pills, your girl had to take one in the morning, one at night, and I had to try to take them at the same time every single day, four or seven days straight, and it was just starting to become a lot. Like, it was just draining me, but I did push through, and I no longer do have the bacterial infection, because at first I thought I had a UTI, and that was just going to be something to where I knew I was going to have to deal with within the time frame of me being able to get my body together and get my body back healthy before having my son because even having a bacteria infection can have you with a um a premature baby and i just was like lord i just don't want that to happen i wanted to sh I just I just spoke it into existence of having my baby boy to be strong and healthy and for me to be strong and healthy throughout this entire pregnancy and God has really came through. Now I was suffering with my anemia and that was in the months of I would say late August and early July and I had eventually got on a iron pill because you girls started to have clumps of hair coming out. And people was like, clumps, well then you look like your hair is just pretty. I really and truly had a bad shedding issue. If you are someone who has been an avid um, watcher of mine, supporter of mine, you know that if you see my hair now, then you go back some years in my videos before I got the nice camera, the nice backdrops and stuff like that, then my hair did look different and that's because I was doing totally different things. I was bleached and of course my iron was under control. But as these years started to go by, your girl iron started getting really low. Um, my doctor told me that my iron was to the point to where I probably would have had to get a blood transfusion if it was not caught in time. And that was going to be something to where it was going to be very detri detrimental to not only me but my unborn son as well. And and my husband so that would have been something to where he probably would have to stay home and watch me you know until I get back healthy but thanks to God everything started to work out for the best and I can say that my iron supplements have really and truly helped me get back my strength and just keep me from having all that shed hair that was really freaking me out because I'm gonna just be real I wasn't eating all that well with fruits vegetables and leafy greens even though i do love my collard greens my mustard greens my turnip greens even though it's on green ain't even green but <laughs> y'all get what i'm saying you know i love greens so now i can tell y'all that so much has been going so much better for me now as far as people have been asking me about the braxton hicks contractions i have been having those and they have not been as strong as what some women go through during this time in their pregnancy but I have been having a lot of round ligament pains and they come at nighttime. and right now I do have the pressure 
almost out of breath, y'all. <laughs> I do have a lot of pressure on the sides of my stomach. It's very, very tight. Underneath my stomach is very, very tight. Um, my baby boy is not sitting low. He actually sits high. And he's probably going to end up dropping, I'll say, towards the end of the month. And I'm going to let y'all know whenever I do my 36-week update as well as what's in my hospital and diaper bag video. Is he in the right position? Is he breached? I'm going to let y'all know all of that because I know it's going to be able to help some women out there. And a lot of y'all will be able to help me as well, men and women. So we're going to be talking about that. And um, like I told y'all, y'all the the round ligament pains i guess that's what they are i don't know they've been keeping me up at night they've been very very strong and they've been kind of sporadic but it almost feels like i didn't pull something out of place on both sides of my hips mainly my right hip because that's what my little baby eli like to sit at and he like the leader and it kind of feel like he is turn in the right position but then again when I'm laying down it feels like he all over and I just can't breathe so so far everything has been okay I haven't went to the hospital for the pains but if the pains get to well I know they're getting unbearable and I feel like I got contractions coming along your girl is going straight to the hospital so I'm gonna let y'all know that and as far as everything else my skin has been um kind of kind of playing playing well nowadays i have not been getting a lot of breakouts of course if you have been watching me for some time now you would know i have been having a lot of struggling going on with my acne and since i started taking prenatal vitamins that acne has subsided so i think i'm going to be taking prenatal vitamins for a while now so I can see how everything works out and I will be breastfeeding so all of that is going to be even more beneficial for my baby boy and as well as my health so I'm excited about that another thing I have been going through is a lot of swelling in my legs and in my ankles and in my toes and in my feet and it's to the point to where I can't even much put on my shoes because my feet are just severely swollen. Um, I have been going through a lot of swelling before, well I have been going through a lot of swelling even before I got pregnant because I have very low um, circulation issue, well I have circulation issues in my left leg because I have very small veins. So the circulation is just going to be all jacked up now and hopefully after I have my baby boy my feet can get back to normal even though I know I'm still going to have a little bit more a little bit swelling in my feet because I'm still going to have those hormones racing through my body they won't be as intense as what they are now since I am pregnant so that is something else that's something I wanted to tell y'all and what else as far as my health people have been asking me how much weight I have gained I am now 100 no lies I am 205 pounds I was 165 when I started and I do have the motivation and inspiration to get back down to my pre-pregnancy weight or even smaller whatever go ahead and stole for me it is what it is I'm not about to complain because I'm carrying these 205 pounds really really well if I must say so myself I'm not down in the dumps about it okay so that is mainly all I wanted to tell y'all. So far everything has been going good. I did go to the dentist today. Let me add that in. I did go to the dentist today because I have been having a lot of swelling in my mouth and y'all I am a sugar fiend. So I went to the dentist, got my teeth clean and I feel so much better. So let me show y'all what my belly looking like because I know y'all like let's see the stomach. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a blessed one. Remember to keep God first in your life and in everything that you do and the results will follow. If you want to see that hospital and my diaper bag video, 
give this video a thumbs up and I will be back for 36 weeks. Trust the plus. Okay, y'all. I'm out of here. Bye.